You know the guy like partying? So you know what they'll do? They'll do him a favor. Guys, this one's on the house. You have to pay for it. They'll take him straight to the pubs of hell. And they will make him drink and drink and drink and take as much as he wants. Round one. Round one, he will be forced to drink the blood and pus of the inhabitants of Jahannam. And if he makes it through this, round two, the venom of snakes. And this venom will be so potent and so lethal that, you know, before he even drinks it, the flesh of his face will melt in the pot before he even touches it. And when he drinks it and he will be forced to drink, his skin and his body will begin to rot and smell. And it will smell so bad, so bad, that this will annoy the inhabitants of Jahannam and they will not be able to tolerate the smell coming from his body. Round three, Allah will give him boiling water to drink. And when he's forced to drink this, everything within his body, it will destroy, it will break, it will kill. My young friends, it doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have to be like this. You know, there's still time. Listen to the words of Rasulullah. He akbarul kabair. It is the biggest sin that you can commit. O Musliman, ijtanibu ummul khabais. Stay away from the mother of all evils. Ijtanibu al khamar. Stay away from these intoxicants. Fa innaha miftahu kulli shar. It is the key to all evil. O Musliman, remember. La yajtamiu imanu wa idmanu al khamar. فِي صَدْرِ رَجُلٍ عَبَدًا لَيُوشِكَنَّ أَحَدُهُمَا يُخْرِجُ صَاحِبُهُ Iman and intoxicants, they can't stay in the same heart. You've got to make a choice. Do you want Iman? Do you want intoxicants? Because if you take both, then what will happen? One will drive the other away. The intoxicants will drive your Iman away. Listen to the words of Allah. رِجْسٌ مِنْ عَمَلِ الشَّيْطَانِ It is a filthy thing. It is impure. It is evil. It is from the works of the devil. Fajtanibu, stay miles and miles away. La'allakum tuflihun. This is the only way you will attain salvation. This is the only way you will attain Jannat of Allah and the elevate ranks of Allah. Don't you realize that the shaitan wants to create hatred and enmity through these things? He wants to stop you from the dhikr of Allah, taking the name of Allah. He wants to stop you from prostration. Will you still not stop? Tubu ilallahi tawbatan nasuha. My young friends, turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Turn to Allah while you still breathe. Turn to Allah with sincere repentance. You know, make firm intentions today. For those of you that are involved in this, for those of you that are not, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this blessing that Allah has given you. And stay, you know, with good people doing good things and stay miles away. For those that are involved, Turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in repentance and beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you will never ever again in your life go anywhere near this thing and you will leave it just like the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left this.